Welcome back. This is Staring from Staring Gaming. Today's video, we're going to be doing the Temple Alj Kair. Like I said, I probably butchered the name, but let's get on with it. This used to be a 40 man raid in Classic. Now it's pretty much soluble by everyone. back today having to fight these guys uh four on it it was just a nightmare leave it at that i am unable to carry more of those now with the current updates this guy will also drop a pet has a chance to so probably one shot him Now we can enter the temple. Now we're going to take a small detour before we continue so I can show you something. Now you see there's NPCs here. These NPCs are the ones that give you quests in order to receive the gear from this area. Pretty much, like I said in the last video, Death Knights and Demon Hunters unfortunately can't, don't have any gear here. They can transmog the other gear that drops here, but they don't have a set piece, which these three can give to you. And there's also other NPCs further within that we will meet up with. Uh, you'll need a rep to kind of start getting up there. Each boss drops this skull-like item that you can hand in for rep. downside about temple is it was sometimes got confusing on where you were going but also there were mounts that dropped in here back then we didn't have this, the mount journal but Unfortunately, if I remember right, there's only four mounts that drop in here, and they're only usable in here. But the rarest of them would be the red one. As you saw with the ruins, there's also chests in here as well. I require a target! Now, different items drop in Temple than Ruin. Different types of idols, to be honest, that are class specific. Yeah. These are actually bosses here. But they're also tameable for Beast Mastery Hunters, so. Air Demon Beast Hunter, the other. Go, because he's the other. Because he just ate him. Get 
I do not have a target. The annoying part about this area is a lot of them spawn other mobs. So AoE is like was the best in this back then. <laughs> We're gonna move that temporarily. I cannot learn that spell. And as you can see, I we're going to actually bring up my mount menu here. We'll set that there, and then we'll close my UI in. Now there's actually a mount from archaeology that's I believe an aquamarine one that you can use anywhere. But for the sake of the video, this will help us speed through a bit more. Target something first. This is what I hate about this. Oh. Ah. Here's the next boss here, the bow guard. Pretty easy knockout. I am out of range. <laughs> Having one of these made this so much easier, to be honest. Now, unfortunately, this is the part I hated in this place. Everyone would have to try to mount up and make a run for it. I do not have a target! It was pretty much... If you got dismounted, like, for some reason I am... I'm starting to think I need to put a certain item on my mount here in order to get the days taken off it. Okay, we're just gonna try to run our way there. Target squat, man. I need to target something first. Like I said, I really hate this part of the temple. That just doesn't make sense. Doing this method. We're just gonna 
gonna try to make it to the boss area. Oh, this looks like the first boss from Runes, which pretty much is good. Earthquake should not require resource. It just should have a global cooldown. I'm starting to think maybe it's because this mount, if you in that combat, you get dismounted. That's probably what it was. Now, there's actually a boss up this way. But this boss is actually special. The only way to truly defeat this boss, you need frost damage. Can open up uh, ah! me. I feel like I'm forgetting there's something important I gotta do here. again. Kind of ashamed to say that, but... So 
Sorry about this, guys, but uh, give me a moment to actually figure out what I'm doing here to take this guy yeah. out. I might not actually have the right character to do this. Supposedly, you gotta do a certain amount of melee on this guy when he throws and breaks. So, they just have to bring out some extra friends to help us. There we go. See, now it says he's beginning to crack. So it is true. You have to hit him a certain amount of times while he's frozen with melee in order to shatter it. Which should destroy him. See, now it says he's ready to shatter. Now all you gotta do is freeze him one more time. You should have this guy be. You wanna fight this boss? To be honest, Cross Death Knight or Enhancement Shaman probably be your best bet unless you want to get one of your own melee guys and get the Enchant Elemental Force. That can actually do cross damage. And I think I just remember why I hate this guy. You have to actually do the hits within one frozen period. So for now, we're just going to leave this guy. A Frost Death Knight would most likely be your best bet. Unless you can start hammering out the damage on an Enhancement Shaman. So let's um, continue on. Uh, if anyone says, why don't you just switch to enhance? I don't have weapons actually, and I haven't set up her enhancement spec yet. And I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me do that on video, so. Let's just continue on. <laughs> Larger aggregators. I used to be able to just ride right through them. Now I can't even do that.
Next up is the princess bug boss here, so... We'll be able to take her out pretty easily. I must get closer! Now with these bosses, the one on the right here... You are already dead. Okay. I was just saying, the one on the right here can only be destroyed by melee. Well, this one here can only be taken out by spell damage. Which... Too far away! It is too not late! Survive. Turn away. And as you can see, they actually share... HP. And also, as you can see, if you don't kill all these dogs, Unable to carry more of those. eerie quietness that sometimes gets to you. As you saw as we were flying by that hallway here, there's a lot of chests there, so... If I actually had some more room, I'd probably be opening all these chests just so I could just sew it all to a And of course, these guys. <laughs> I am unable to carry more of those. Now this way is actually to the worm boss. And you pretty much initiate the fight. You just gotta go over the mound here. Now I never tried to tame him on my honor, but I don't think he is actually one of the tameable bosses. Able to carry more of those. Oh, 
I am unable to carry more of those. I swear, everything here seems to have their aggro radius increase. Which means I'm probably going to end up having to fight these guys. Yep. I am unable to carry more of those. Oh, you also get an achievement for looting a red one and learning it. Now, back then, this was actually one of the first old gods you met. And this guy could be a pain. Oh, apparently I already aggroed him. I need to target something first. You destroy the eye. I require a target. I do not have a target. Ah, crap. If I'm not fast enough, I will die. I need to target something first. You need to kill what you can and then run to here and get out. Because you're in his stomach. And as you see, when you destroy one of the tentacles, he becomes weakened. This guy used to be a massive, massive thing. Now I'll show you one last thing in here. Now, these here can actually give you other equipment items as well. So, some items you might want to just save or make note of what you need if you ever want to collect each transmog. So, but let's like say, this has been Temple Run. Um, this has been a stand from Mysterian Gaming asking you to please like and subscribe. I'll get, see you guys in the next video.